Welcome survivors, this is Luthias and um, yes, this is my second part of my in-depth survival guide where we're going to be talking about controls. Now, this is one of my favorite areas in the south part of the island, especially for beginners. So, when you start in a random spawn, when you start the game, you're going to be starting in first person, okay? And the first control you want to learn there is F1 to go into third person, okay? Uh, me personally, I don't really like F1 because I love to use the scroll key to smoothly transition between third person and first person. Sometimes I don't get the scroll out completely to have the furthest view, but um, yes, that is the one way. Now, to get to the basics, W is going to be our forward key. S is going to be backwards, D is going to be moving right, and then A is going to be moving left. Then, of course, Q is going to be leaning left, and E is going to be leaning right. And then if you want to change your shoulder positions, you're going to be tapping E or tapping Q. Okay? So Q puts you over the left shoulder and then E puts you over the right shoulder okay which is my favorite position and then you can always press B to interchange between them but I almost never use the extra keys so we're going to have four ways of moving the first way is to hold in your middle your mouse wheel and then move forward that is going to be our nice walking speed. A bit of a funny walking speed, there, but that is his walk way of walking. And then we're going to have just W, which is jogging. That's going to be your standard way of moving. Okay, and then you're going to hold in shift to sprint, which is also very important. And then last option is jump to get over obstacles, which will be your space bar. Now, regarding mutants, if you press X, then you're going to crouch. And here you've got three speeds as well. Mouse wheel, without the mouse wheel, and then with your shift. And the shift works very nicely because mutants don't really tend to hear you if you're behind them or not in sight with this kind of movement. And yeah. I will try and test it if this mutant comes back or respawns. Okay, so what else have we got here? We've got the Z, which is our new proning. Now, very important with proning, you cannot use a melee weapon while in prone, but you can hit with your fists, and then you can take out a weapon and aim. Okay? So let's see. Let's let's see how we're gonna use this. So I see a guy standing right there on that let, let us just aim there, okay? Right there. There. There's a guy there. So if I am in prone without this big duffel bag standing out there, I can send to him as much as I can and then press tab to um Put my, like that, okay? If I just press the mouse button, I'm going to lift my gun. But sooner or later, I'm going to lower my gun. You will see now. Sooner or later, I'm going to lower my gun just because I pressed the left mouse button to raise my gun. But if I press tab to raise my gun, okay? I'm never going to lower my gun, guys. I promise you guys, I'm never going to lower my gun. Okay, so since we've got him inside there, then we can just stand up. And then zoom in okay to have a clear target let's change let's let's give another target there by that tree okay so as long as we can see that tree is in our sights then when we stand up then we've got that tree in our sights so yes nice use there again when you've got a gun and you're in first person always use tab to raise it because if you just click um, the left mouse button to raise it you're going to lower it at some point which is great for running if you don't want to keep your weapon raised you can um, 
you know, use the left mouse button. So you just run around every time you see a guy, click and then click again to shoot. Okay, or click and aim. But if it was raised already, if you're running like this and your weapon is always ready, as soon as you see him, you can just left click and aim. Okay, so yes, tab is the key that I love to use. Then, of course, we have covered the mouse wheels. We have covered the crouch. And then we've got the G key, which is your most important key, which is your inventory key. And then you've got your slots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so if you press numbers 1 to 6, you'll be able to use those items. If you do not want to use those items like that, you can always press I. What are you doing to me, dude? What are you doing to me? Sorry, guys. N and M. N is going to cycle through your items. Okay? So you can go pistol, map, pistol, map, or you can just keep cy cycling through your items. So M and N. N and M is going to cycle through them. Okay? But again, I don't like using that because... I normally know where my weapons are. But if you get a bit confused, then N and M will be a nice quick way. Another thing is when you've got the gun, when you've got an item in your hands and you want to put it away, you have to know what key it was at, okay, to put it away. If you can't remember what keys it's at, then you just press H, H to hold stuff, okay? And then the reason you want to hold the stuff is for sitting down which is your comma and this is one of the most important positions that you're going to have in the game because as soon as you get hurt which will happen on orca island then you're going to want to sit to heal as fast as possible okay so sitting is your resting phase where you heal faster just remember, guys, if your food and water is below 50%, you're not going to heal, okay? And up to 75%, you're going to heal at a certain rate. And from 75% upwards, you're going to heal much faster. So always keep that water and food in the green, okay? Nice tip there for you guys. Okay, so yes, we've got the aiming. We've got the reason why we want to use tab. And then, just hold hold to this quickly then we've got the f key and the f key aha aim hold shift to hold your breath and miss never miss twice so yes guys when you're aiming you're gonna have a bit of sway just a bit of movement okay but when you're holding shift, you're going to have much less movement. And you're going to be able to hold your breath in for quite long, guys. As you can see, my stamina is going down there. So, yeah, this is one thing in Mistrated. You can hold your breath for quite some time. Almost like in real life. So, it's not very unrealistic. It's like, you know, it is realistic. But you can hold your breath all the time while aiming. Okay. If you, and it gives you aim and stability. It gives you aim a bit of zooming and it gives you stability and as soon as your breath is out you're done okay you're done you have to wait for your stamina to come back up same with jumping jumping also uses stamina okay if you haven't got a gun then you can always use your v key to kick okay and you can do a nice what guys like to do is do the flying kick okay so the flying kick is always nice and then if you've got a hot gun, but you don't want to use your bullets, then you press T, okay? You press T to hit him on the head. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And then let's say you've got a gun. I don't think this is going to work. It does. Yes, if you've got a gun and you pick up the ammo, then you press R to reload it. Okay, so let's see here. You throw the clip down. Okay, you don't have a clip. You're shooting blanks. Okay, so you come here, wherever you dropped it, pick it up, 
and then you press R to load it in. Are you ready to kill people? Go. Yeah, that was a brilliant sound. Okay, yes, guys, that's about the basics. Okay, when you when you um, build up a torch, an attachment for your rifles, like a torch and duct tape, which makes which makes you being able to attach a torch to your gun, then you're gonna press L to put on the torch while you've got your weapon equipped. If you get a laser sight, which you will get later in the game, you press K, okay, to equip the laser sight. And we've gone through all the slots. Then you press enter to chat to people. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. You can chat to them there. Say hi and see who, who responds. And then if you want to chat in a certain area, that's the widest range you'll have for anyone you know, in a range. Local is anyone that's close. And then whisper is someone that's very close. But whisper you normally use for friends around you. Okay, so that's if you want to chat to the guys. I don't usually chat. What I do is I hold in caps lock. And then I'm able to talk to people around me. Okay, and if I really start liking the conversation, I double tap caps lock. And then I don't have to press caps lock again. And I can talk while I'm busy killing people and running around. And the guy can talk to you as well. Okay, so that's a really great way to communicate. So yes, and then guys... For the end of this guide, we're going to sit with the important stuff. Remember, F1 is third person and first person. Now, very important here is F2 is going to let you hold your hands up. Okay? Which basically, if you're in danger, you can just hold F2. Don't just press F2 because that's just going to put your hands up, put it down. Hold F2. Say, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, you know, um, I'm, I'm in arm, especially when you've got no weapons on you. This is a very good tactic. And then holding F3 is going to be, hi, you know, how are you doing, guys? How are you doing? Till you see they have weapons and you go, uh, uh, till you see they have weapons and you go, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, guys, remember, F1 is changing your view. F2 is basically, don't shoot me. F3 is the friendly thing, but remember the last one, F4, you don't really want to press a lot because F4 is, uh, yeah, that's the finger, guys. So be careful of that one. That one can really cost you your life. Then F5 and F6 is directional for your teammates. So that's hold, hold, hold. Um, there's people, there's shit around the corner, you know, just, just hold there. And then you've got um, F6, which is, let's go, come, 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 come. Let's do it. And then you've got F7, which is everything's cool, dude. And then you've got F8, which is nothing is cool. Absolutely, absolutely nothing is cool at the moment. Okay. Then you've got your F9, which is keep quiet. Please keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Why? Why? Because there are F10. There are people right there. There are people right there. Okay. So the emotes are very important, guys. And then again... People have freaked me out with this, and these days I freak other people out, but you can whistle. Yes. You can signal the guys around you. Or just, yeah, drive them crazy. I don't know. It's up to you guys. In any case, guys, yes, that is the basic controls for Misgraded when you start. If you like this video and helped you, please press that like button, and then you click the subscribe button. And then, yes, guys, please click the bell button so that you're notified of my future uploads, which, like I said, this is the second part of a 10-part series. And in the next part, we're really going to get busy. Okay? So, have fun. Have a great day. And, um, yes, see you guys later. Cheers.